Okay, good morning everybody. How are we all doing today? Welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Mr. Foster and I am here today to interview your future teacher. Uh, I know we're not quite going back in person, although some of us may be. Most of us will still be virtual, so I thought I would take this opportunity to uh, interview your teachers to hopefully help get uh, everyone to know each other a little bit better. Uh, so with that said, uh, your teacher, he has been at Newton High School for four years. He is currently the Social Studies Department Chair. He has been the head coach of the cross country team and the track and field team. He currently teaches World History and AP Human Geography. So without further ado, I would like to welcome to you, your teacher, Mr. Foster. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you having me today. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you very much for joining us. And first thing, I gave you a little brief introduction, but can you just kind of tell us about yourself? Kind of who are you, where you're from, where you've been, and where you're going? Uh, yeah, of course. Again, uh, thanks to you for having me very much. Long story short, uh, we'll get to know each other a lot more during the school year, but I've been teaching for nine years now. They're about uh, I did my undergraduate in history at uh, York University in Toronto, Canada. I then flew down to uh, Australia and did my postgraduate in pedagogy curriculum, uh, senior secondary curriculum uh, there. And then I ended up staying there to teach for a few years, uh, which that was, that was a blast. Uh, from there, I used to spend my summers and teach in Taiwan and Vietnam. Uh, I went back to Canada, taught there for a little bit, moved down to Dominica and taught at uh, Ross University School of Medicine where I was a master teacher and now I am here. So it's been quite the whirlwind uh, before teaching because I haven't always been a teacher. Uh, I worked in advertising for uh, Canada's largest experiential marketing firm uh, where I worked with clients like InBev and Diageo. So quite the roller coaster of a ride, but really excited to be here and I uh, can't wait to get to know uh, Excellent. all of you Thank a you lot for sharing a lot about yourself. Goes. Sounds like you've had quite the uh, career and uh, have traveled quite a bit. Excellent. So uh, next thing, so with all your experience uh, since high school, because it sounds like you've had quite a bit of it, what is something that you would want to tell, go back and tell your, your high school self? What's one thing you'd want to kind of, ooh, with all the knowledge that you've gained, pass on to someone that's in high school? Okay, uh, excellent question. Uh, well, something that was told to me by, by, my, my, by my dad once upon a time when I used to really struggle with math, hence why I'm a history teacher, uh, was that you're not in school to learn facts and stuffs and things, right? What you're at school to learn is actually how to learn because there's no textbook in the real world. Uh, so we're gonna face problems out there that there are that we don't know the solutions to and that there's no answer key for. So we need to be able to develop the skills to learn how to solve our own problems. And one of the main ways we do that is through critical thinking, for example. And that's a skill that you need to practice. So we're gonna practice our critical thinking through AP Human Geography and World History, uh, for example. And we'll see how that goes. That sounds like some uh, excellent advice. I'm glad you could pass it on to your students and hopefully they listen and uh, apply some of that uh, as they go through the school year. Uh, next, so we are kind of going back in person a little bit and we are going back online a lot of bit. So what are some classroom expectations you have for both virtual and in person and are they different? Uh, excellent. So they're not really different. They're the same kind of uh, guidelines that I've had uh, my whole kind of teaching career and they've worked phenomenally so we're not going to reinvent the wheel. But essentially, I don't have any hard and fast rules. Oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. As long as you're being respectful to yourself, uh, the objects around you, uh, and your peers, and then obviously myself, uh, great. So respect. Uh, the other one is teamwork. A lot of what we're going to do is work in teams. So it's really important that uh, we learn how to respect other people's opinions uh, and learn how to have productive discussions. And then the third thing we're gonna do is called initiative, and we'll practice this during the year, but it's kind of doing without being told. So you know what you need to do, so I'm gonna need you to do it. So, and again, we'll, we'll practice that well, as the year sound, goes on. Mm, excuse me, uh, sorry to interrupt you there, but it sounds like those are some excellent uh, expectations for the classroom. 
Uh, sounds like you'll really have a, a nice and safe environment both online and in person. So last question that I have for you. Um, I know that the first kind of few weeks of school, uh, you're going to really focus on how to use those online tools. Uh, but what are they? Can you give your students a, a list, a, a short list, hopefully, of the tools you'll be using when you do come back and teach? Uh, yeah, definitely. So really simple. I think we only have about four different tools that we'll be using. Obviously, Zoom, that's how we're going to communicate. Uh, so we'll practice the nuances there and, and try to make it uh, as smooth as possible. Uh, next is Canvas. Canvas is where we're gonna, we are going to do all of our quizzes. That's where we're going to submit all of our assignments. And that's where you'll find all of our lectures and lecture notes that are there. Uh, then the other two tools that we have to kind of make it a little bit more interesting are Nearpod. So that's an interactive uh, web-based learning tool that I'll teach you guys how to use and, and we really enjoy it. We can also go on virtual field trips as well with it. So anyway, I love it. We'll, we'll teach you all about it. And the last one is called Edpuzzle. And that's just how we'll watch our, watch our videos and ask questions through well, there. Well, Mr. Foster, so that's, uh, much that it. was very insightful. Uh, hopefully your students got to know a little bit more about you and what to expect for this coming school year. So I just want to say thank you very much for your time. I really, I really, sorry, I will just elbow bump. I really, I really appreciate it, and hopefully you're the parents and students do too. So with that said, thank you very much, and we can't wait to see you during the school year. Yeah, thanks again, everybody. Okay, well everyone, that's your teacher, Mr. Foster. Hopefully you got to know each other just a little bit better. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, this school year and all the new adventures that we're gonna have and uh, looking forward to uh, seeing what we can make of this. So uh, with that said, thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.